Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. One, two, three. So for today's video, we are becoming a beauty guru. Can we just? Can we just? Yeah, we're a beauty guru. Yes Style is actually sponsoring this video, so thank you so much to them. You guys are the best. They sent me over, yeah, yeah, a crap ton of makeup and skincare. We've got like an all kind of elf face almost. So everything on my face ish is elf. The eyeshadow isn't and stuff, but like all the base stuff is. And then they sent me some skincare. So we've got green tea face mask. These I've never seen before. Yes to dry shampoo wipe. I'm an oily bitch. Yes, please. We've got the yes to charcoal sheet mask. Yes to charcoal nose strips. Yes to grapefruit sheet mask. The yes to sheet masks are my literal fave. We've got the yes to micellar water. Love that. We've got a natural deodorant from them. We've got moisturizers from yes to. We've got face scrubs. I've got a grapefruit one in my shower. They sent me loads. So I show you in this video. Shh. I show you in this video all of the makeup that they sent me to create this look and to be honest I'm obsessed. You'll see the lighting will get probably shit in a minute because I can't use lighting and I had it like this. So you couldn't really see what was going on so sorry about that but either way I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if we like makeup videos. If we don't then I won't do another one. If we do I will do another one but I'm obsessed with this eye look. I'm not gonna lie if you know me. I love pink so we love this. Uh, yeah. So, should we get into the video? I tried to make it like a get ready for me Q&A, but I answered two questions. So, also I have my link down below for yes to, make sure you go and check them out if you do like any of it, and I do have a discount code, which I'll share at the end. So, stay tuned for the discount code, and yeah, let's uh, so hopefully I've just remembered to film the intro because I never ever remember to film it once I've got makeup on. I'm always like, I don't want to film the intro without makeup on. I'm going to wait and do it after and then I forget. Oh, my little alpaca is not on my bed. My box from yesterday, as I said, I've not tried any of it. And the thing is, I bought both foundations. Also, how cute is my little juicy top? I bought both foundations for when I was like fake tanned, I think. So, oh, to be fair, that one looks like I might be all right. So I have the... Elf Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade Nude. I've not tried either of these foundations before, obviously, hence why it's a first impression. Ooh, cute packaging. It's like matte. It's like this matte packaging. And then I've also got the LA Girl Pro Matte High Define Longwear Matte Foundation. I don't know which colours of these will be better. We'll find out in a minute. I haven't got anything on my face. So they also sent me a lot of Yes To stuff. I love Yes To, so I've been using this one. I have used some of these. This is the Yes To Tomatoes Clear Skin, Clear Skin, Clear Skin Balancing Moisturiser. So I'm just gonna pop this on. Then they also sent me an Elf Primer. So I'm gonna go off camera for a minute and I'm gonna put that on as well. Let me show you it now. And then just wait for this to sink in a minute. Put this on, wait for this to sink in and then we can come back. So this is the e.l.f. Oh, it's just Paula's face primer. This is so nice. It's literally like a kind of, is it silicon maybe? Like really, really, you know them really smooth ones? Kind of like a professional vibe, but I think nicer, like smoother. Um, So yeah, I'm gonna, and it's like tea tree minty. It's not, not minty, it's like tea tree. So I am gonna wait for this to sink in, put this on, and I'll come back and we can test which foundation we wanna use. So I've got that primer on, and it's all settled into my face. So I've brought you a bit closer, because I thought if we're doing makeup, then obviously you probably wanna see what it looks like. So now, let's see about foundation color. This LA Girl one is in the shade Natural. Uh, okay, right, that one looks like it could be okay. The nude one looks like it's dark. Oh, she's dark. I'm literally fake tanning after this, because I go to Ireland tomorrow, so I wanna be fake tanned for that so I can literally just use that then but okay I've accidentally like blended them together now can you see the lighter one that's the LA girl one we're gonna go with that because I am pasty right now because I've literally got zero fake tan and I literally just stood and scrubbed it all off in at the shower to reapply after this video so I'm gonna put this LA girl pro conceal on nope 
Ellie Girl Pro Matte on with just a beauty blender. And as I said in the intro, I don't ever have yet. I haven't filmed it yet. <laughs> um, I asked for some question on my Instagram. I haven't got that many yet because I didn't put it on that long ago. So there was a lot of uni ones, but I literally kind of just filmed a uni Q&A. So I'm going to try and like not do them too much because if you want to know anything like that, like how I'm getting on or like making friends or something. And I've talked about it in a video before. So go and check that out. All right. She full. <laughs> she full coverage. Oh, that's well nice. That's a well good colour when I'm not fake tanned actually. I think I did that on purpose because I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be fake tanned by the time I film this video or not. Yeah, this is well nice. I look like a ghost right now. Colour wise, that is so good. I'm loving that foundation. I'm not going to lie though, I do think the concealer is going to be dark. So, oops. I like this a lot. I'll definitely be wearing this again. It's very matte. Very, very very matte let's go on i got a concealer i literally got like one of everything most of them are elf so this is the hd lifting concealer in the shade light i think it's going to be too light oh okay that was a lot smaller than i expected it to be so this is it the color looks dark oh really dark oh my god that is so dark you can't see but oh my god let me try and turn you down a bit can you see uh oh. Okay, let's see if we can make it work. I'm not gonna put too much on. It's kind of the same colour as my foundation. Maybe a tiny bit darker. So we're just gonna put it under my eyes and uh, see what happens there. It's blended out fine. It's kind of just the same colour, so it's not like highlighting or anything. Wow, really good actually concealer though. The actual concealer is so good. Wow, I love that. Okay, I don't know if you'll be able to see that it's like, it's not even that dark, not to be fair, but like, can you remember the bags I had? That concealer is so good. And as I said, I'm normally fake tan, so as soon as I put fake tan on tonight, like, that'll be fine. I'm really, really liking this base so far. Like, really liking it. So, now we've set, as I said, I'm pretty, most of this is from e.l.f. So we've got an e.l.f. I think it's translucent loose powder. I kind of only use loose powder. Well, kind of. I only use loose powder. It's the, I don't know what it says, HD High Define Setting Powder from e.l.f. I've never really tried any e.l.f. That's why I was really intrigued to try all of this. So it comes with a little puff, which is actually really good for baking sometimes. Okay, it is literally like baby powder. Can you see? It is literally white i'm using this and i'm literally just gonna pat it all over my face but this is like actually white like baby powder whoa <laughs> jesus christ i mean i feel like all powders well that's not true some can look really cakey this doesn't i feel like all kind of like good powders like can't be that different do you know what i mean like they just say face maybe that's just because i've only ever used like average powders and they all just kind of set and that's that i say that the chanel powder i use so good but i do literally now look like a ghost down after using completely white powder as well. So that's good. And then my favorite thing, my favorite thing, the thing I'm most excited for, and also my favorite thing, bronzer. So again, it's from e.l.f. It is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. Does it have a shade? Forever Sun Kissed. That is the color there. I'm just gonna take a bronzer brush. Oh, a lot of kickback. And we are just gonna tap, tap, tap away. Did I say tap, tap, tap away? I meant like tap. The product off oh, already you can kind of see the definition i meant brush away i literally just put bronzer on like it's nothing so forehead cheeks and i'm gonna put it down my neck as well put it on my nose that's really nice i feel like when i've got my ring light on i haven't used it in ages so tell me if you like it is it good is it not let me know i feel like you can never really tell like true color like i definitely look a lot paler in the viewfinder than i am in real life so oops this is a really nice bronzer. It's definitely one for... Oh. <laughs> Look at my bad makeup skills. It's definitely one for, I'd say, paler people or this shade anyway. Because, I mean, it's a really nice colour on me now. But I feel like if I was to use this when I'm, like, fake tanned or even just, like, naturally tanned, it probably wouldn't show up that much. But, again, that's just the shade, not the bronzer. But I really like it. I kind of have no complaints. Should we answer some... A question while I put some more bronzer on. Someone said, where's your favourite places to shop? I get a lot of my clothes 
from um, my stuff that I'm wearing from at the moment. I'm wearing a lot of my stuff from my Boohoo haul. I shop on Misguided a lot. I love Misguided. I love Pretty Little Thing. I love Urban Outfitters. Like, love, love, love Urban Outfitters. I've got a few clothes from there recently because it's our first shop in town and we've never had Urban Outfitters at home. So I'm obsessed and I can't stop shopping there. So I love Urban Outfitters. River Island. A lot of my clothes are from River Island. I don't really shop there now. When I'm at home, I shop there because it's the best shop we have at home. But now that I'm here, I don't really go in there. But a lot of my clothes are actually from River Island. Like, if you ever see me wearing anything, there's a large chance it's probably from River Island. So, I then have this contouring blush and bronzer duo. Oh, da -da -da. Ew, what? That's like a highlight in a bronzer set. That is not blush. Okay, that makes it look more like blush. It's not. And the contour's shimmery. Is it shimmery? No, but it's very, very creamy. Okay, right, let's try that. That looks so nice, actually. That contour is literally so creamy. What the hell? It's a really nice colour. Obviously, I'm not blended. Give me a minute. That's quite nice, actually. I like that. So, yeah, I am going to try that blush. But that is not pink, like, at all. Someone said, talk about self-love and self-confidence. As she says, piling on a lot of makeup. I feel like I was your girl to talk about this a year ago now. Not so much. I feel like I've got more con- for done. I don't have more confidence in my body, but I do have more confidence in like this body than I would have like a year ago in this body. Does that make sense? Like I'm kind of just at the point where I'm like, it's my body. Like my body is my bo <laughs> I just literally dropped everything on the floor. Yeah, I'm kind of just at the point where I'm like, well my body's my body to like help me breathe and like help me stay alive, not to look good. Obviously it's a bonus and social media days, you know, doesn't help. But your body is not there to like define you and make you look good and like all of these things that like we put pressure on it for like your body's not there to have abs and have big bum and have big boobs and whatever and like yeah that's like ideal but like your body's there to like pump around blood and like keep you alive and like there to make you walk and you know so why I hate something that literally I feel like I'm not saying this the best if you want to hear like someone good talk about this probably talk to someone else but like do you know what I mean like your body isn't like a fashion accessory it's your body it's like your skin it's your cells it's your muscles like it's why you're alive so like who cares if it doesn't have abs because you're still breathing like you've got legs you've got arms like I don't know I just feel like I'm start sounding really dumb like when what I mean is a good point what I think is a good point but yeah I think just come to terms with the fact that like your body is your body as in it's your body to help you live and help you walk and breathe and talk and do all these amazing things that you love to do like even if it's literally like going shopping or going running or going to the gym or I don't know what you do dance or whatever like you're so lucky to have a body that likes fully works and fully functional if you do obviously so like be grateful for that not the fact that like oh my god my stomach doesn't have abs do you know what I mean that was probably like the dumbest bitch thing you've ever heard, but hopefully you get my vibe. I'm just trying that blush now. Um, nothing's happening. <laughs> Literally don't think anything's happening. It's really nice though, I'm not gonna lie. Like my base, like my foundation, the powder and everything, I am happy with. I do not look this pale though. I bet this powder has a bad flashback, doesn't it? Right, now we've got highlighter. Hello? I'm just looking for a highlighter. I don't know if you've seen it. It's an ELF highlighter. Oh, I found it. So this is the baked highlighter in this shade Moonlight Pearls. So let's give her a go. Let me just get a, a highlighter brush in a... We can get this show on the road. I don't know what's gone into me. I'm really sorry. Right, this is the time to shine, okay? This is where we know. Is Elf a hit or a miss? Because highlighter, come on. Come on, you ready? Rise and shine. Mm. She's like subtle. Like she not crazy or nothing. Like it's cute, but what if? Right, I am now. This video has been such a shambles, hasn't it? With my base done, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually super, super happy with everything. This is just not true to color. Wow, that looks like a muddy mess. But whose fault was that? this girl's. I didn't get a brow thingy from Yes Style, so I'm gonna go off camera now and quickly do my brows and I'll be back for the most beautiful eyeshadow palette you have ever seen in your life. So, BLB, hello, I'm back with some brows. But we are now ready to play with the eyeshadow palette. I've never heard of this brand before, but I've seen it on Ace Beauty and I filled the whole website to vegan, as I said. 
And this came up. Ace Beauty. I think it says Blossom Passion. I'm by the packaging as well, I'm guessing. I think this is the pink one. It wasn't too clear on the website, but I think it is. And the fact that the pack packaging. The packaging. The fact that the packaging is pink gives me hope. So, da -da -da -da. oh, I'm nervous. I can't really remember what this looks like. I just remember it being like pinky. Ah! <gasps> Oh, we're about to have some fun, aren't we? That is gorgeous. And the fact that it has this brown here for the transition shade and then like these pinks here and this gorgeous like shiny pink. Should we do a swatch? Because it could be really bad. It could be like a budget. <gasps> Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Was anyone else just not ready for that? I'm done. So we're gonna go straight into this palette and we're gonna take, am I gonna attempt to say these names? Gar, God, <laughs> the brown. We're gonna take the light brown, right ready? Grand reveal. I mean, it is a really, really light brown to be fair, but like she's there, you know what I mean? The kickback is a lot. A lot of people are asking about veganism and like how to go vegan. I'm gonna take just this like peachy color try and like bring in this pink before going crazy whoa did you see that that was very pretty i've also got a whole video on how to go vegan so i'll link that down below so i'm just putting the peachy color is it creation no con carnation on my eyes to just tie in that pink before we go crazy which is really really pretty to be honest it's just like this really light peachy color so we're now gonna go stupid, go crazy, and go in with the color love, which was that crazy pink color that I swatched. But really, yeah, yeah. Okay, she's not as like go stupid, go crazy as I thought. If you don't tap it off, obviously a lot more goes onto your eye, but you are more prone to fall out. Look at me pretend I'm a beauty guru. Hi. Also, I'm gonna come closer because we're working on the eyes. You know, you gotta be able to see them. But I really love this. I love pinks. I mean, if you don't know me, pink is literally my all-time favorite color ever. So this is kind of a dream. Does this look crazy? Is it too pink? I don't really know what I'm doing. Does this look bad? <laughs> I'm getting lazy, so I'm gonna just take the bright pink and go underneath my eye because I can't bother to like use all the colors like a beauty guru would. I wanna make a TikTok after this. I think I might make my way into the TikTok world because everyone I meet at uni loves TikTok and I'm like, I want to love TikTok and like Chi is always telling me to get TikTok but I haven't ever so should probably do that probably gonna do that soon probably actually I just said I'm gonna make one so I'm just trying to take this like darker pink and like put it on the outside to like try and give me some dimension so I'm not just like this crazy pink eye uh, okay let's just go in with lust it's a really lovely warm brown she warm she thick she's not thick she also doesn't look brown but I'm over it to be honest this eye looks better Oh, is she cute? I really just can't decide if this is a shambles or not. She'll do. She's not too bad. She's cute. The eyeshadows. Mmm. Mmm. Like, obviously, you can see they're good. Like, my eyes are literally bright pink. But, like, it took a hot minute. I don't know whether to go, like, dark. Okay, right. Let's put the light pink on. This is a shimmer. Ready? There's Hi. That was good. Okay, that's probably one of the best ones I've used. Yeah, I like light pink. Light pink is cute. She's cute, though. I might put a darker one in the middle to like, you know, blend them together. Sorry, I think I'm Hannah Renee and I'm just not. Wow, that was really good. Okay, these shimmers, next level. These are so good. Okay, and then I'm gonna put Beauty in the mid. No, Orchid, I'm gonna put Orchid. This cute, so I was gonna do that one, but we're gonna do that one. Because it's more shimmery. Girls night. The whole eyeshadow is quite patchy, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but um. Okay, no, that looks cute. Can you see? Probably not. You just gotta put it on with your finger, which is not a big deal because it was quite cheap, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're gonna leave that shambles here. So, for mascara, I wanted to try like a really skinny one. So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Mascara. This is really cute for like a natural look, but for an eye look like this, I feel like it's gonna look a bit crazy because I feel like you're not really gonna be able to see my lashes. So like this is another one of the ones I've actually tried. Be fair though, I've not actually used it with makeup. I've just kind of used it as like a natural. Going to uni with another makeup on and it's looked good, like it's good for that. But like this is really nice because it's obviously black. It makes them black 
and if you can see like it's really like separating like it's not clumpy at all and that's because the brush is so small literally just gets every single eyelash without making any mess whatsoever okay no this mascara is really nice and bang bang in the dirt it's gone so i'm gonna now do the other eye off camera just because you've seen how it works you see what it looks like and then i'm gonna come back and put on i'm literally just got some lip gloss so brb <sighs> hello i am back i feel like it's finally coming together um i actually really really like this eye look i've also just turned up my ring light and i feel like the brighter you have it the more sense everything makes but yeah lips so i've got two lip products both basically lip glosses i've used one of them already and it slaps this is gorgeous can you see the shimmer can you see it so we've got that but then this color looks like it could be cute for this but this is a lip tint oil both from elf i'm gonna put them both on <laughs> whoa that feels so nice i'll probably just leave it at this actually how glossy does that look Okay, actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave it there. Should I put this on? Let's see what it looks like. It probably won't do much. I love the feel of this. This glass is so nice. Done! So, right, that is the finished look using everything I got from YesStyle. So, again, I'm so sorry that I've only just turned up this ring light. Now I'm looking at myself like, wow, you actually look like you make sense and you don't look like a ghost. So, hi, I'm a dumb bitch. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know. Give it a thumbs up. Do we like makeup videos? Do we like them more when I actually use the ring light properly and talk you through? Or do we prefer them in like a get ready with me style? You let me know. Sorry I didn't answer many questions. I was kind of too intrigued on the makeup. I'm really annoyed I've only just turned up this ring light now because she looks good. Um, this light is giving me a headache. Um... Yeah, so if you did like this video, make sure you let me know, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe. Thank you so much, YesStyle, for sponsoring this video and gifting me all these items. You guys are the best. Make sure you check out the link down below and my discount code YSMEGAN10. It should be on the screen now. I think I've got that right yet. Uh, so yeah, I hope you have the best day ever and I'll see you next time. Bye.